Hey guys, it's Eric with Scott Lower Marketing. So today I'm going to cover what to know when importing from dot loop. So when you import your loops from dot loop into command and you turn them into opportunities, there are some things that you need to know that are going to affect how you handle that opportunity within the command system. And I'll show you what I mean in a couple minutes. So the first thing I want you guys to see here, of course, I'm logged into command and I'm logged into dot loop just for today's example. And the loop that I'm going to be using is one, two, three main street right here. This is the loop that I've already gone in and imported into my opportunities within the command system. Let's go ahead and take a look. So if we go back to command, I'm going to click on the KW on the left hand side. I'm going to go down to opportunities. And then I'm going to go to all opportunities. The reason I bring you guys here is because you can see not only the opportunities that I have created within the command system, you can also see here if you hover over the little plus one that these loops down here have been imported from dot loop. Okay. So not only have these been imported from dot loop because my uh, um, command account is connected to dot loop, um, I can click on here and I can continue to work in this opportunity, right? If I click on documents here, <clears throat> it'll give me the sync the transaction or go to the transaction. I can continue to work on this opportunity through what would be the dot loop system because I imported it from dot loop. So this is the number one thing you want to remember um, is that if you import a, a loop to command and make it an opportunity, that opportunity must continue to work within the dot loop system. So for instance, if I click go to transaction, this is simply going to open up another tab and it's going to take me back to dot loop for me to continue to a add more documents or add more signatures um, anything along those lines okay and then once i finish what i need to do in dot loop i would of course you know send it to my clients get it signed or what have you i would close this and i would go back into my um folder here and i can then create a folder and um add a document if I wanted to, but let me do that real quick. So we'll just do a contract folder just for this example. And we're gonna create the folder and then we're going to click on there and then add a document. So now you see here where I can manually upload a document from my computer or I can choose dot loop <clears throat> or a custom folder and upload it of course, but that's just from the same folder that I'm working in. But if I do dot loop, then of course it's gonna give me all the documents that are within that loop in the dot loop system. I cannot, um, however, go into DocuSign for whatever reason in here. I have to work through dot loop because this is imported from dot loop. So keep that in mind when you guys make your decision if you want to import your loops versus create a new opportunity and just manually import all the documents from dot loop into what would be um, command, of course. So that's tip number one. So if I go over here back to opportunities and I go to all opportunities, and I'm going to click, I believe, on, let's click on this one. And I, um, this is just a training opportunity that I have here. And the reason I bring you here is because I'm going to click under Documents. And um, actually, this is not the one I wanted to go to. So let's go to All Opportunities and let's go to this one. Sorry. So now we're back in a training opportunity. We're going to click on Documents. And perfect. So this is an opportunity that I created from scratch within Command. Um, and it's a basic opportunity. Okay, so if I go over here to start a transaction, because dot loop is connected as well as DocuSign, I have the option of which one I want to use to complete the signatures and the documents that I want to add that pertain to this specific opportunity. So here's the, the, uh, the second thing. So tip number two within this video that I want you guys to remember is once you choose a platform for signature and documents, you have to stick with it. And what I mean with that is if I go in here and I choose DocuSign as the platform for signature and documents for this specific opportunity, I'm going to have to continue to use DocuSign until I close this opportunity out, until we actually go to the closing table. Same thing goes for dot loop. So if I go to dot loop, then I'm going to have to continue to use dot loop for signatures. Like, um, so that's how that works. So keep that in mind when you're choosing this, because the other thing is once you choose this, this can't be undone. You have to stick with the platform you choose. So let's say that you choose dot loop by mistake and you wanted to only use DocuSign for all your new opportunities. You're going to have to recreate this opportunity within um, your opportunities to then select DocuSign. Okay. So once you choose this, this is kind of the point of no return when it comes to choosing the platform. Okay. The other thing I'm going to show you, we're going to go back to, um, DocuSign, we're going to go back to our opportunities here, go to all opportunities, and let's go here to um, our 
sample uh, opportunity that Beam would working with here. We're going to click on the opportunities. We're on the details tab. We're going to scroll over and click on documents. Click on the contract folder, and we're going to add the document. <clears throat> if I, for whatever reason, wanted to upload the document from Dot Loop, I can go in here and select the document. Right, I'm going to transfer in the as is, and I'm going to add it. Sorry, I have to choose what type of document this is. So it's a contract. Um, and then we're going to just go ahead and click add. Now this is importing from dot loop um, into command into my opportunity. And if I click on the document, I can see once it loads here that I have my document right that came in straight from dot loop. I had signed it just for this example here towards the bottom. There's my signature. If I needed to edit this document or get another signature, like I said before, this is going to take me back to dot loop. Okay, let's say we go back to our opportunities, go back and we go to all opportunities and we have our training one. I believe it's this one that we were using. Yep. So this one here, if we go into add a document, it's um, going to give me the option of manual or custom. It won't give me one because I haven't selected which, um, which platform for signature I want to use. So if we go back to the opportunities and I select this one, which I believe had um, dot loop signed into it. Let's see which one this one has. So we click add, perfect. This one has DocuSign as the added signature. So for example, let's say that you wanted, you recreated a, um, you, you have documents in dot loop that you need to import over for compliance or because you wanted to have all your opportunities within this application, not in dot loop. You can still import your documents from dot loop. So if I go back to dot loop, for instance, and I go here, I open up my loop and I manually download this document. It's going to download it. I'm going to just save it on my computer, right? I'm going to open it up here. Hopefully it opens. There we go. So let's go ahead and um, save it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it on my desktop. So we're going to click save. We're going to go to desktop, save that document. That's now saved. Now I can go to my opportunity, my opportunity in command and import that contract. So let's just do it here under, let's see, under contract. We're going to go to just execute a contract add, and I'm going to click here, even though this was from dot loop, but since dot loop, this is, I chose DocuSign as my opportunity. That's why I'm going to choose to manually do it. So we're going to go here import my document and assign and there you go this was a, a loop that i chose to work with in docusign but i imported my document over from dot loop so there's my document hope you found this tip useful and have a great day bye